I'm back. You're mad. I'm back. Big mad. My phone is my microphone today. Look at this. It's probably not in focus, but yeah. Can we just talk about the yeah, look at this lighting jelly? I don't have a ring light. I have a whole mechanism here. I feel like this just looks cute. Today is a different, different video, different video hey? yeah. Um a lot of people have been asking about it. Okay. A lot of people have been asking me about this because like everybody has been asking me what do you use for your team team for your team team for what do you what use? use so <laughs> let me just set things straight kids yes Chrissy Dance has been missing in action long story short I've been scuttling to finish my degree which I technically have <laughs> waiting for my results and also working on Chrissy.creates. No, Chrissy Creates. Let's just call it Chrissy Creates. Kind of have a new channel. Everybody should know I'm obsessed with videography. So I have a channel. Go check it out. So. Well, let's just get into it straight away. Keep watching. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. I, I'm not a professional. But here we is. I know. When I started out with video editing, because that's actually my passion, probably this software is probably the reason I got so deep into it. Cyberlink Power Director. I started using it like grade 10 vibes for EGD. We had to get laptops, and that was a pre installed video software editor. When I look at how Cyberlink Power Director looks now compared to then, yo, yo, it was yo. whack and cheap. Like, it just looked cheesy. The title designs were so, like, ugh. The effects options were. Ugh. But now it's called Cyberlink Power Director 365 version 19 and it looks pretty decent. But with Cyberlink, there's the trial version, there's the full package which you need to pay for. People, we don't like to pay for things. And uh, the free trial version is very limited. But if you have this money, honey, get it. It is an investment, especially if you want to do videography or video editing. But if you want to do small scale videos, a phone for school projects, next time somebody messages me on I'm going to say here's the link because I'm going to give you guys all the lowdowns, what good programs there can be that you could use. So then there's a Cyberlink Power Director for your mobile phone. The last time I used that was probably 2018 like the first half of 2018 there's a watermark and if you scroll through my instagram see i made i cropped it to square but you can still see there's like a gray block there and that would be the watermark and that's kind of weird. watermarks are just distracting it's just ugly man i mean personally for me i just don't like it so you have cyberlink power director 365 i think if you are startup you can use the trial version and then you do have the mobile version for cyberlink power director Try that for small scale videos, for just projects, school projects, whatever floats you about. But not my top choice. But moving on. Okay, which one's next? If you have a Windows um, operating system laptop, Windows laptop. Okay. If you have a Windows laptop, it actually does have a default video editor, but I don't necessarily recommend it. It is for like for a school project, you can use that. For inserting different clips and you don't want to do massive editing, you can do that as well. But it's very limited. It doesn't look like your typical advanced interface videography software. It's more like you just plonk the clips there. It's not like you can freely cut the video. Like it doesn't have a typical timeline of interface and very difficult to work with. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend it but I would say if you don't have any advanced video editing that you want to do that one is best they have cool title cards and stuff like that if it's small scale videos definitely the default video editor for Windows is a go I feel, I like, feel I'm like I'm doing, doing so, so well because I was thinking how long is this video gonna be because I don't want to talk and then people will be like too much. But I feel like I am but I'm already on the third software program that I can suggest for you guys all of these things are things that I've used so I'm just giving you like the lowdown and how they look currently I tried as much so please bear with me but I think I did a real really good job with like giving you graphics and stuff because it's not that okay stop talking Okay, anyway, okay, Film Aura for your phone. I did use Film Aura for a couple of times. I don't know why I stopped using it. But for your phone, it's actually pretty decent. It does have a watermark, but the watermark is not in the video. It has its own clip at the end of the video. So if you have something else, you, you can just cut that part out. I think Film Aura for your phone is pretty decent. Um, You're going to have to check your specs. That's one thing you need to do before just downloading something, figuring out 
is your phone compatible with it was really good and i only learned the film aura due to using wondershare for the laptop so film aura wondershare they're all like same company but that time wondershare i needed the full version to get rid of the watermark because the watermark is like this in the whole screen like, uh -uh, you can't see me dancing like what's the point there like uh. so yeah then i was just like nah but once I got on the phone, it was pretty decent. So I don't recommend Wondershare for your laptop unless you have the shmoney honey. But once you have a, a it on your phone, I think it's pretty decent. But I actually don't take my word for it. First, try it out because I'm not sure on what the updates are. Let's carry on to the next one. There is Adobe Premiere Pro, but I'm not going to go deep into that. Everybody knows Adobe Premiere Pro. That's amazing. <laughs> Takes up a lot of space. You need money for it. 14 day trial. What are you going to do with 14 days? Yeah, but that's obviously for your advanced professional level video editing, which I can say I've done. So, yeah. Um, yes, there was... Let me look at my notes. Okay, then we have an alternative to Adobe Premiere Pro. Guys, just wait, listen. It's free. It's free. It's free. Are you telling me that I... My word! Okay, we're back. Um, okay, so DaVinci Resolve, like I said, it looks exactly like Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, better be recording now. Guarantee yeah, I wasn't recording, but I had it all on audio. You're gonna feel quiet because now you're using professional power. Uh -huh -huh. The Varsity laptop that I got, obviously it's not, it's not a Big Mac. It's probably a booty roll. <laughs> Look, pre vegetarian Chrissy Dance really smacks a burrito. So I couldn't really like, like really sustain a, do a Da Vinci Resolve. But once I get a booty laptop, my video editing will be fire. Da Vinci Resolve, I think, is so decent. So, especially if you're a freelance video editor who doesn't really. Um, <coughs> So if you are a freelance video editor but you don't really have the money, the finances to buy the full package of Adobe Premiere Pro, DaVinci, DaVinci Resolve, Resolve is, is the, the one. one, okay? Okay, that's that's my opinion. Is this helpful? Where's my notebook? Okay, we're almost done. So thank you so far for watching. Now I'm going to go down to what I'm using currently on my phone and on the laptop. I'm not actually using my laptop to edit. Wait, wait! I actually found something that is almost an alternative to what I'm using. I'm using iMovie on my dad's laptop. It was more of a convenience thing and I just kept on using it. So I'm using it for all my... I've been using it since last year now properly. Been able to master it. Psych! Okay, okay, okay. My, 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 the card got full. So we're back again. I know I was talking about, so I use iMovie. I found an alternative, kind of found two alternatives. So I found Movavi. It's actually pretty decent. I remember I've actually used this before. Can't remember the reason why I stopped using it, but uh, yeah. I was like, oh my word, this is the one, this is the alternative. But then, then when I was doing research, I found Movavi by itself. And then I was researching what's an alternative for iMovie on Windows laptops. And then I found Movavi again. But it said there's a seven day trial and I'm like... But when I look at the Movavi video editor, at the website, it doesn't give me that seven day trial thing. But I think it's a good one. I think it was so friendly to use. I do have something that says... Yes. Why don't you just take the stuff? Right? So here it says a broad support of for various sources. Ta da 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 da. Seven day fully functional free child version is available. Ugh. But then, see, then I looked alternative for iMovie. So then I found something. I opened it last night and I was trying to edit something. But I just fell asleep. And I've been getting very tired lately. And usually I go to bed at 2 o'clock in the morning. In the morning. So, so I don't know. I don't know. All of a sudden. <laughs> but anyway. So I was trying to edit on it and then I fell asleep. My mind was saying, Honey, this looks like Movavi Video Editor. It calls itself iMovie for Windows. I think I played myself right now. 
So the camera keeps cutting recording at random times. Now the camera's not doing anything and then the camera switches off. So let's try to keep this short. Okay, look, listen to this. If you look at iMovie for Windows and iMovie for Mac OS, do they look the same? Actually, it doesn't. It doesn't. Movavi Video Editor and iMovie for Windows, do they look the same? I don't have the images in front of me. But nevertheless, I feel like they still would be pretty decent. I think iMovie for Windows, um, I still need to figure out if I if it is the same because I only use it once. You have to register and buy a license to export without the watermark. Wow, and this is how it looks. iMovie for the Mac OS. Honestly, I'm so happy that I've been using it, but I've been able to just grow and let me just experiment. If you have a MacBook, you want to do small scale videos and stuff, iMovie, it's pre-installed default software program for the Mac OS. I feel like it's so easy, that, but my all-time favorite on the phone has to be Video Leap by Lightrix. Lightrix has a lot of different software programs for your phone. So Video Leap, it does have the free version and it does have the full package version, but it's can use, you can have it as long as you, you wish. Honestly, I couldn't be happier. I'm not gonna go anywhere else. Like there are limitations, can't have more than four overlays, either music, images, more videos but video leap has to be my favorite i've done almost all my videos now in the last five months i think with video leap sorry for this bad quality but it looks like it's available on laptops as well for me it has to be iMovie for mac os video leap um movavi video editor and seven day trial that you know, what are you gonna do with seven days? I think Cyberlink Power Director. I'm giving you some very valuable information, especially if you want to, like, what you, like, start a YouTube channel, maybe like, I just did three different accents in that. Wow. Guys, did you enjoy this video? There was a lot of technical difficulties on my side. But you do see it because video editing skills are on point. Thank you for watching. Chrissy Dan, she's done with her varsity life. I'm done with my degree, kind of, maybe I'll have more time. Stay tuned for I don't know what, because I'm not gonna, not make, gonna any make any promises. Any promise. Like, subscribe, comment whatever you smug. Did this help you? Please go check out my videographer channel, Chrissy Creates, probably linked below. Yeah, kids. I love you so much. Thank you for all the support in the last year. It's gonna be amazing, 2021.